Hi, I'm Crystal Beshera. In this video tutorial, I'm gonna be talking to you about how to create pools of watercolor paint. Now that sounds pretty simple, but a lot of people struggle with the whole paint to water ratio. And I really want to address how I create a pool of paint and what consistency we're looking for. This is part of a one hour full length video tutorial available on my website how to paint an English Robin in watercolor. There you're going to get all of the steps from the materials list, a printable PDF file that you can refer to. So head over to my website, www.crystalbeshera.com and click learn and you will have access to that video tutorial. Otherwise, you can hopefully glean some insight and get a better idea of how to mix water into your paints to create the perfect watercolor consistency. Thanks for joining and I hope that you find this video useful. If you do, please click subscribe, like or comment and let me know. For this project, you're going to need a few things ready to go. Watercolor always needs to look liquidy and soft and runny. It's never meant to be thick or heavy or pasty. And a way to find out that you've got the right balance of water and color or paint is to test it on a test strip. So I always like to have a little piece of extra watercolor paper just so I can test my colors. If you're working with a palette that already has the colors out, you're going to want to spray your palette with some water just to wake your paints back up and make sure they're nice and juicy and ready to go. You might want to have a dropper on hand or again, a spray bottle just to keep your paints at a nice consistency. I like having some paper towels so that when my brush is too wet, I can wipe my brush off, or if I have too much paint on my brush, I can wipe my brush off. I also like to have some tissue just in case I make a mistake. If you've got two cups of water, that's great. If you only have one, that's absolutely fine. I'm using a stiffer brush to mix my paints. If you have freshly squeezed out your paints in a brand new palette, and they are still a little bit goopy to the touch, you're not going to want to stick a brush right into it and pull out a big glob of paint. You're going to want to just dab very delicately and deposit the paint in your mixing space. I can wet my brush a little bit and then just lightly dab at the top of the paint and I'm going to deposit it into my palette. I like putting the paint out in my palette first and then adding water to it to change the solution. Now, if I'm mixing two colors together, I'm going to rinse my brush and add the darker mixture to the light. Now, because this is so fresh, I've got quite a lot on my brush, so it would be prudent of me to actually deposit it into the mixing space and then just bring tiny amounts over until I see the color that I want. This looks pretty good. So I'm gonna test it on my test strip. And voila, the more water I add, the more diluted it's going to be. If I continue adding water, I can stretch out that pigment and it gets a little bit lighter as the pigment dilutes. Once again, your paint should never look thick or heavy or pasty. If it looks pasty in your palette, it's far too dry and you'll need to add water. So in this case, this pool is far too heavy and dry looking. We need to add a little bit of water to stir it up. That's a much better consistency. If you don't have a large palette like this, you can certainly squeeze your paints out into one palette and then use margarine lids or smaller palettes like these to mix your pools of watery paint. It's important to note that with watercolor, we're not using white paint to lighten the color. We lighten paint by adding water and diluting it. And you could do this in different ways. One way is to add water directly to the pool of paint that you have in your palette. Another way is to carry water inside of your brush and pick up paint and that just automatically dilutes it because there's water being carried in your brush. 
another way that you can dilute pigment is by pre-wetting your paper and then taking your paint that might be dry and adding that to the wet paper. That, of course, is going to dilute it as well. Here, I'm applying a stroke of Prussian blue in its most concentrated form. And then just by adding a little bit of water to it, I can make it a little bit lighter. Adding to water to it again, this is all just being done inside my brush, but the same thing would be happening if I were adding water either with a dropper or my paintbrush to a pool. The more water you add, the lighter it's going to get. And that's it. Whether you're working from dried paints in a palette or freshly squeezed watercolors, using a stiff synthetic brush and depositing the paint first and then adding water to the pool is the perfect way to get that consistency every time. If you would like to support me and have me keep providing free content like this, please like and consider subscribing to my channel. It would mean so much to me. Thanks for watching.